Hello Doraemons, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I have a very very important Python question which holds 40 marks in your ERA and which is a game changer question in your ERA. So if you crack this question, you have no doubt that you can get incentives. Okay, so let's get started. So in my previous videos, I asked some of my friends like whether they want Python or Unix. Like they said, most of them are struggling to get the Python solution. So for this video, you'll be getting how to solve it and what will be the basic structure of Python as in IRA and how you can solve it. So let's get started. As this is the first video in the series, I have got a very, very simple question and uh, like you make you understand what is the basic structure and what will be asked and how you can handle those things so let's get started without any further ado okay so what i have taken is the 19th of july 2021 question if you have some of your friends working in like ccs you can ask them whether <clears throat> they have solved this 19th july question i'm a very I'm a bit uh, not well with my voice because I'm not very well good and with my voice so sorry if my voice breaks in between bear with me so as a lot of people requested like I'm just filming this video to give you a solution <clears throat> and make sure you will get uh, like continuous videos on Python so let's um, don't make this video longer as already for the content it will be very long so let's just bear with me okay so firstly they will give you create a class for the below attribute so this is why is to you have to create a structure which will store different data types and you have to perform operations on the structure so this is an application of oops which is basically the structures if you are aware with c and c plus plus you might have gone through what is structure so people who don't structure structure is a data type which is used to store many variety of data type for storing the similar varieties like as like your data birth like your school holds the records of a lot of data birth bio data so those are all of similar format which will have your name data birth your religion caste like these things even though they are a bit different everything will have a similar set of data which has to be stored for different people so that kind of data also comes into existence in your websites when you get into development so this is a little test to make you aware with this you can make this through and if you learn it boom you will get an incentive okay let's get started so they will give you a structure to create and like you they will give you and define structure which you are based on which you have to create structure usually we call it as object in Python okay so to create the structure we have to go through this they will be they have told you have to create a structure with a name of type string protein of type number fat of put, uh, type of number and carbohydrates of type number energy of type number and status of type string okay so let's have a quick check whether all these things mentioned over here is given through the input so one major thing you have to look when you are asked to create and structure is the input whether all data are like fetched given to you through input or you have to make like the values as you can see here firstly they have given the number of now data that they are going to be given for a single structure one like we'll have different structure and like set of data like as like your lunch boxes it will have different variety of food and yet it is called as a single lunch box like that you will have different datas yet it is called as considered as a single unit so this apple 2.0 1.0 and 21.5 is considered as one unit and like this such you will have five set of units for beans for my meat and for milk and for chocolate so this is the mention like five set of elements so you will be getting the inputs in this main function so this is the first thing which you're going to write once you enter into your ira if main is equal to equal to mean you if you know python you will be aware of this main function so first you have to get the input for number and in, into input it's of type number 
So in number, you'll be usually representing as integer. And we'll be, we are going to create a list. As like how you will be usually doing in your, when you get a set of values and you have to perform operations on that, you will usually create a list. So what we are going to do is the same. Follow the same pattern, you'll be creating a list. And for i in range of numbers, inside this list, you're going to get the name of the food and the protein, like this is the protein, carbohydrates, and the fat. <coughs> fat and carbohydrates, to, no, not to avoid a lot of typing, I just made it as simple as NPFC. And this is of type number, but it is as a floating integer, floating point integer. So I've just got it to float input, float input, float input. And this is the place where the concept of structure will come in. So here, you only with the array, what you'll be doing is you'll use val.append and you'll directly put that one value. As now, as of now, you have a set of values over here. We are going to create a class to store this set of values into a single address location in an array. So this is what this class over here will do. Class, they have told us in the very beginning itself, create a class third with the below attributes. So here we are going to place name, protein, fat, carbohydrates, and energy. And in the question, one thing they have mentioned is we are going to calculate the formula as I said while explaining it. So everything is not fed to the input over here. Some of them we have to do manual calculations like energy as shown. In the input, they have given the name of the food the protein rate, fat rate, and carbohydrates. They have forgot, like, the energy is not given, and here they have given the formula to calculate the energy. So while passing it here, so you'll be just passing the values which is given in the input to the class, and then here you can create one more attribute or self dot energy and add the values of protein, fat, and carbohydrates. So now you have almost all of the things except for the status of the food. So for that, they have given a set of values as like in the same format of an array. So what we are going to do is we have to again get these values, store it into a structure, and then access it. So as we have different two set of arrays or list to maintain and creating another one class as nutrition and storing these status values into it. So in the if main, I have uh, created one more list and one more value to store the number of elements that will be passed and I'm running and for loop and get the values of status name, lower limit, upper limit and add el.append and name of the class which is nutrition and then passing what will be the values to be passed yes ll and ul and make sure you pass the equal number if it is three here and here also it should be three if you're adding one more thing you will get an error so in the initial stage of solving an error it will be a hectic and make sure you don't do it <laughs> okay so as of now getting the input part is all done and we have four low 0 to 50, medium 51 to 100, high 101 to 150 and very high 151 to 200 and this value is given to print one part of the output. So here I can split this output into two parts. So what they have said over here is this is the, this is one part like printing the energy of the food and food with a given criteria. So this second part, we are going to use this 40, which is given in the input. So don't forget to get that input also, elsewhere you'll get an error. Make sure you get all of these in the correct order. And I have given the name as nval. So as of now, we have created an object to store an, a set of values to a single address place in an array. Like two, we have two lists right now, one for the food and their values in an energy and another for the energy status level. So this energy status level is not yet this or like process so we are going to do it in another function. So the pattern of IRA Python question is you will be having to create 
two classes one class like this to store a set of values into a single address place and then one more class to perform the operations based on like the output they have given so for this as the input has two different set of list have created two classes to maintain the records usually it will be one for this question it's a little bit different and yeah i have created the main class where we'll be performing the operations to get the output so here this if main will only only be used to get the input values and then pass it on to the functions and classes okay so here what you have to do is this energy of the four apple and we have to calculate the energy which we have already done and stored as self cut e and e and we have to print this low high those things and all so to do that uh, in this main class i have created class execute and uh, defined an init function into it and passed the two list which i have made to three two classes and have to pass that is here you will be creating an object for the execute class execute class and here the list name is val and el so i'll be passing val and el and here i have named them different as e list and l list initial list and last list like that e list and l list and then i have created one function inside this main class def set energy of self so here i'm not passing like you can if you know the concept of classes you know object dot set energy that's how you call a class for i in self dot a list for r and like to compare whether this energy level lies between these ranges i'm using for i in self dot a list this is how you iterate through an object as like how you do in your arrays but here you will use self dot a list which is given over here and you can use hi k j anything for you of your wish for r in self dot l list like this for this list so what i'm doing is if i dot e and e this 28.1 is less than r dot upper limit it should be less than 50 for initially it was slow it should be less than 50 and it should be greater than the lower limit which is zero and if it lies in between that range then print i dot name and we need this little iphone symbol in between them and then the energy value and then the status so here i have given it as yes so i'm using r dot yes so now if i run it you will get apple 28 low that one is done so now going to the second part of the output this thing we are going to create one more function called as match criteria <coughs> so in this match criteria what i'm going to do is as they have given a value and we have to print the food and the energy level which energy level is less than this given value so here i have created object dot match criteria and passing this last value which we got from the input and here def of match criteria self comma well don't forget the self else it will give you an error okay so i'm creating here a list because there are two possibilities over here one is food with given criteria it may print like there may be foods which is less than the given criteria and there may be chances like there is no food which is less than the given criteria at that time we have to print no food found so to differentiate them i have created a list and i'm going to parse through the a list and found which are the food which has energy level less than the given value and store them into a list which is fl uh, like i'm storing it into a dictionary so that it can be easy for me to print the values so fl of i dot name with the name of the food and then their energy level so this is what i dot name is equal to i dot e and e and here in below that i'm going to check if fl so what this if fl will do means it will check whether the um, list is empty or not if it is not empty then it will get into this loop and print food within given criteria is and for k and fl like you know the k represents the key print k comma k 
and colon fl of k like fl of k will hold the value of the energy as we already know so now what it will print is foo with the given criteria and then it will print apple colon of the energy level if this fl list is empty and there is no food which is less than the given value then it will print no food found so this is a very very simple code i have tried it with 20 so that only it's printing no food found if i am making it into 40 you can see it is printing the apple 28.1 and 22.0 so I hope this video is very helpful. So this is a video which is given you given for you to understand the basic structure what you should create in the IRA. So you should create two classes. One class is for the object and other class is to perform the main actions. And you'll be inside the main uh, class you'll be creating two functions which will like the output will be in the two parts which uh, like these two functions first uh, function will be doing the first part of the output and the second function will be doing the second part of the output so this is the basic structure and remember this if main will only used to get your input and like little operations like addition subtraction or division can be done here and just have a look through it and i'll be giving my github link for this course so that you can have a look and practice over it and yeah so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and this was useful and if it was useful please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends who are writing a yare and yeah so i'll be posting the next video in one to two days so that you can have a little more practice and yeah like Comment down below which IRA Python question you solved and what is the difficulty you faced. And if you have any doubts, you can contact me in Telegram. I'll link my Telegram link in the description so that you can ask your doubts over. And have fun. Like keep learning and keep rocking. I'll see you in the next one. Doremons. Bye bye.